Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your friend Siren Frost. I'm coming at you with a bit of a vlog episode today. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to say about this is the ban list has officially been out. And, look, and I got the ban list right here, guys, a new one. And I'm kind of a little bit like half and half with this. And I'm going to tell you what the cards are banned and no longer banned anymore. You know, the whole shindig. I haven't done these in like a while, so... Luckily, I printed this off just a few minutes ago because I really need a copy of this in case there's a future deck I want to play with some of these cards. So, enough of my ranting. Um, I'm just going to give you guys my little thoughts and opinions as always when I do these things. So, let's get on with the thing. Alright, so the new one has been forbid on a Forbidden Zone. We have two new ones. The first one is Medic Spectre Unicorn Curin. I am so fucking glad to be honest with you that that card's gone. That card was just too overbroken in Magic Specters and um, Metal Foes. It's not even funny. Well, any deck actually can use Pendulum. So that's the thing that's like really going to be shit on the list right there. And um, the next one we do have is a new one is um, the Tyrant Neptune. Um, I could probably see where this is coming from, you know, because as far as I can recall, the, the Tyrant Neptune was a card that, you know, people kind of abused in the Mermails, I think, and, or just not at all. This is like a big question for me. Like, why do they bother banning this card? Why can't they ban something else? You know, that's just me. <laughs> and, yes. Yes, yes. And the last one in the Forbidden Zone is going to be actually in the Traps, which is going to be Vanity's Emptiness. Now, this may hurt me a little bit more because I do use Vanity's Emptiness in the plays like um, special summoning monsters like Sync Plant Synchros or um, Speed Roids, Wind Witches, you know, all those good, all those things. But then I realized something. This isn't a, a minus for me. Vanity's Endless is only there if I needed it. Plus, the effect that when you, when the card is sent from, from the field to the graveyard, that card is destroyed as well, which fucking sucks. So I'm thinking about, this is not actually bad, you know, because if you really think about it, I have Christia. I have Christia, Vanny's Fiend. Those two can still be hacking this. Like this this those two can still work. Now who all the, to all who is actually bitching about Vanny's emptiness, you know, being like, oh no, Vanny's emptiness has been gone. It's like where were we gonna do? Really? Check the other card before you say some shit like that. We still got Vanny's emptiness. I'm oh, not Vanny's emptiness. Vanny's Fiend, we got Archer Christia, we got those cards that can negate special summoning for neither player. So it's not really a bad minus at all. So quit your bedroom, please. And I've, I've always, as always, by the way, guys, there will be a full uh, list of what cards are banned, no longer banned, semi-banned, you know, all that other shit. Now, for limited, um, we actually got Maxi at one, which is, okay, you know what? I'm okay with this. But I'm, you know, there's a part of me that's like okay with this, but it's like not so okay with it. Because, um, let's see. My Dark Lord is technically, technically, um, still uses this card. So I think the fact that I can use it at one, it's not a problem to me at all. I can still use Maxi. It's just going to be a little bit more hard for me to get the draw power that I need it when it's the right time. But I can still work this out. Like, I still have a lot of draw power in my Dark Lords. So it's not really a, a thing for me at all. So I'm okay with this. It's just gonna be a little difficult you know um another one they brought back rescue cat really that furry little furball shit the reason why they did this guys is because the new support for rescues is gonna be out in code of, of doulas so that's why they're doing this and i'm pretty sure a certain yuki tuber or a former yuki tuber i don't know how, how she is rescue cat doulas i'm pretty sure she's gonna be all flapping her tits out for this shit because well, best we can't. Obviously. Um, the next one we got is Brio they brought Brionac back from, from the from the dead. So now we're gonna be playing one Brionac. Which is perfectly fine. But if I remember if you guys remember back in the olden days when I played Black Rose, I think I remember showing you guys one Brionac in my my X deck. So this is not a surprise to me at all. Like I'm actually very happy with this. So now, if I get my little hands on Brionac, I'm all happy for it. I'm all joyful. But that's going to be a little difficult. 
But luckily we got Trisha left. Um, let's see what else can we go on here. Brain controls out one, which is very shocking to everybody. It's like, because now you can use broken control-based decks like crazy. But it has come with a cost. You have to pay 800 light points to use a damn effect. So, it's only left for one turn, which is probably going with me. And then the next one we have is Future Fusion. I can't seem to re I can't recall the, for life of me who else uses abuses the shit out of that card. I have never used it per se, but I know a lot of people else plays it, so I don't know how that's gonna actually work. But if it's at one, that's gonna be a problem. That is gonna be a problem. Um, I don't know what you guys so far, but this ban list is like 50-50 for me. It's just like it's not doing it for me, but at the same time, I don't probably give a fuck about it. And that's just me though. Um, let's see. The last one we're talking about is erratic. Oh wait, Imperial Order. Okay, now we have a problem. And apparently, I've been seeing on VC Torres's uh, live stream that I, this is where I heard about it. Actually, Imperial Order is gonna fuck shit up. I know for a fact it will. Spells and traps. Okay, but they eroded it enough to you have to pay eight, either pay seven hundred light points or destroy this card. So if you can't pay for Imperial Order, you're going to lose light points. So that's technically a big no-no and a big yes. Nancy, what are you eating? What are you eating? Sorry, my dog is like eating something that she should not be eating. Okay. I see that. Anyways, so that is the limited right there. And now for the semi-limited, we only got... With the My Magician at 2, and which I don't kind of get because I thought Magicians were kind of dying out. But I think with the new support, we're actually getting a lot more. So that's why they're adding With the My back because the new uh, structure deck or the new set came out for uh, Magician cards. So that's probably a big no no right. Big guess right there. Last one we have, or oh, right, a couple of new ones Zodiac Ripped here and it Ripped the Kaiju Slumber. Now, yes and yes, I'm actually happy this is, like, you know, somewhat limited. I'm glad that Zodiac's got hit. Point blank right there. And as for Kaiju Slumber, I'm glad it's only, like... I'm not glad it's at two again because that is just broken. That's just, like, that's just dumb. Now everybody's going to abuse Kaiju cards a lot. Destroy all your opponents, tribute all your opponents' monsters just so that they can get their opening wins. And that's kind of shit right there. I'm not going to have this at all, but they limited Rapture at 2. But the sad thing is, you can still pull off the combos that you need. So that's that's another downside to this, surprisingly, sadly. And finally, for the last one on the list, we actually have off the off the list, is Sangin. Excuse you, man, lady. So, Sangin... Sangin, in all real honesty, I'm happy that it's back, but at the same time, I kind of wish... That the witch, the black, the witch of the black forest gets off the list instead of him, because one, I think she deserves a chance than him. But they eroded him enough to you can only use his effect once per turn. So I guess it's probably not all that bad. But it's just I wish we could have done a little bit better with it. So like I said, guys, I'm only like fifty fifty with this ban list. I mean, it's all right here. It's all accounted for. But I don't know what else you guys can think of it. Like let me let. What do you guys think about this ban list? Like, this is all, like, right here. So, um, in the comment section down below, guys, just let me know what you guys think about this. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it gonna fuck you right behind the ass? Or is it just gonna, like, give you an okay? Like, what's, what do you guys think about this? Because, in all real honesty, I'm just kind of, there's some cards in here I'm glad that are on the ban list. But at the same time, I just wish they could have done a little better with it. But, just let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about it. And, Maybe we can have a discussion about this. But anyways, guys, think this is over. And as always, guys, there will be a full list down below in the description in the description box down below. Just let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. Because I think this is kind of shit. This is kind of good. Okay, it's half good, half bad. Let's put it that way. So anyways, guys, I'm, this is your girl, um, Siren Frost. And I thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, comment down below, thumbs up for it. You know, Let me know in the comment. Again, guys, I know I keep saying this a lot of times. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about what your thoughts on this ban list. Is it good? Is it bad? Or what card do you think that sh should have been off the bat off the ban list? So, anyways, guys, this is Siren Frost coming at you with a little bit of a vlog episode. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next round.